Hello, fellow enthusiasts of the glitz and glamour that accompanies stardom. Today, we embark on a riveting exploration into the opulent world of Pam Greer, a cinematic icon whose captivating performances have left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Beyond the realm of her on-screen charisma, we delve into the intriguing facets of her financial empire. From the luxurious walls of her mansion to the gleaming exteriors of her collection of cars, we aim to unravel the enigma that is Pam Greer's net worth and salary. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Pam Greer, the esteemed American actress, boasts a noteworthy net worth of $4 million, a testament to her enduring legacy in the entertainment industry. Her journey to stardom commenced in the early 1970s, marked by breakthrough roles in a series of impactful films, notably in the genres of women in prison and black exploitation. Works such as The Big Bird Cage, Coffee, Foxy Brown, and Sheba Baby catapulted Greer into the limelight, establishing her as a trailblazer in cinema. A pivotal moment in her career unfolded in 1997 with her triumphant return in Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown a performance that earned her a prestigious Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. Beyond the silver screen, Greer graced the television series, The L Word, for an impressive six seasons, embodying the character of Kate, Kit, Porter. Quentin Tarantino himself has hailed Greer as a pioneering figure, suggesting that she may have been cinema's inaugural female action star. Pam Greer was born on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. She emerged into a family shaped by the presence of her mother Gwendolyn, a dedicated nurse and homemaker, and her father Clarence, a United States Air Force technical sergeant and skilled mechanic specializing in B-52 bombers. Growing up, Pam had a brother and a sister, and her family led a peripatetic lifestyle due to her father's military career. They relocated every two years until Pam turned 12. Eventually, the Greer family found stability in Denver, Colorado, where Pam attended East High School. Against the backdrop of the Rocky Mountains, she discovered her love for the stage, actively participating in various theatrical productions. Pam's ambitions extended beyond the stage lights. In Denver, she not only showcased her acting prowess but also participated in beauty contests. These contests served a practical purpose, raising funds for her tuition at Metropolitan State College. In 1967, a pivotal chapter unfolded in Pam Greer's journey as she made the life-altering decision to relocate to Los Angeles. Venturing into the city of dreams, Greer secured a position as a switchboard operator at American International Pictures. Fate intervened when the discerning eye of director Jack Hill discovered her remarkable talents. This encounter marked the beginning of a prolific partnership, with Greer assuming the leading role in Hill's Women in Prison film, The Big Dollhouse, and its subsequent installment, The Big Bird Cage. The early 1970s witnessed a flourishing career for Greer, extending beyond the prison walls to films like Women in Cages, The Twilight People, Cool Breeze, and Hitman. Simultaneously, under contract at American International Pictures, she emerged as a cornerstone in the realm of black exploitation cinema, embodying bold, no-nonsense characters. The pivotal moment arrived in 1973 with Black Mama White Mama, paving the way for her breakout role as the iconic coffee in Jack Hill's eponymous film. In this portrayal, Greer etched her name in cinematic history as the first African-American woman to headline an action film. The momentum of success surged through the 1970s as Greer continued to captivate audiences in notable black exploitation classics such as Scream Blackula Scream, Foxy Brown, Sheba, Baby, and Bucktown. Her diverse talents even graced the gladiator exploitation film, The Arena. December of 1975 marked a significant juncture as Greer starred in her final film with American International Pictures, Friday Foster. This collaboration, featuring luminaries like Eartha Kitt, Scatman Crothers, Carl Weathers and Yafit Koto, was based on the syndicated newspaper comic of the same name. The 1970s drew to a close with Greer leaving an indelible mark on cinema, featuring in productions such as Drum, the Italian romance film, Twilight of Love, and the biopic Greased Lightning, where she starred alongside Richard Pryor, portraying the legendary NASCAR driver Wendell Scott. Film career in the 80s and 90s. As the black exploitation era waned, Pam Greer seamlessly transitioned into a diverse array of action and crime films, showcasing her versatility as an actress. In 1981, 
She took on the challenging role of a druggie prostitute in Fort Apache, the Bronx, sharing the screen with the legendary Paul Newman. The same year, Greer delved into the realm of horror, captivating audiences with her portrayal of a witch in Something Wicked This Way Comes, an adaptation of the Ray Bradbury novel. The 1980s became a canvas for Greer to paint her talents across various genres. Notably, she graced the sports drama, Tough Enough, alongside Dennis Quaid and Warren Oates, illustrating her ability to navigate dramatic landscapes with finesse. The science fiction film, The Vindicator, added another layer to her repertoire, offering a unique retelling of the classic, Frankenstein, narrative. Greer's commitment to diverse roles continued with appearances in the drama, On the Edge, the comedy, The All-Nighter, and the Steven Seagal action thriller, Above the Law. One of the noteworthy entries in Greer's 1980s filmography was the political thriller, The Package, where she shared the screen with the esteemed Gene Hackman. This marked another instance of Greer's seamless integration into films with political entry, showcasing her adaptability as an actress. In the early 1990s, Pam Greer continued to leave an indelible mark on the silver screen with her presence in films that showcased her versatility. Among these offerings were, Class of 1999, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, and the black revisionist western, Posse, directed by the talented Mario Van Peebles. Greer's cinematic journey in the 90s gained momentum in 1996, where she exhibited her action prowess in films such as, Original Gangstas, and Escape from L.A., alongside a delightful turn in Tim Burton's science fiction comedy, Mars Attacks. The pivotal moment in Greer's 90s repertoire arrived in 1997 with the comedy, Fakin Da Funk. However, it was her collaboration with Quentin Tarantino in, Jackie Brown, that catapulted her to new heights. Released the same year, the film paid homage to the blaxploitation era and garnered critical acclaim. Earning Greer a plethora of accolades, this marked a significant turning point in her career, with nominations pouring in from prestigious platforms such as the Satellite, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Awards. Following the resounding success of Jackie Brown, Greer remained a force to be reckoned with in 1999, gracing the screen in an array of films including No Tomorrow, Jawbreaker, In Too Deep, and Holy Smoke. The 90s showcased Pam Greer not only as a cinematic icon but as an actress capable of navigating diverse genres with finesse. Film in the 2000s and 2010s As the new millennium unfolded, Pam Greer continued to grace the cinematic landscape, leaving an enduring imprint on each role she undertook. The 2000s saw a diverse array of credits for Greer, showcasing her adaptability as an actress. From the family comedy, Snow Day, to the sci-fi thriller, Ghosts of Mars, Greer effortlessly navigated through genres, proving her resilience and staying power in the ever-evolving world of cinema. Her involvement in projects like Bones, Love the Hard Way, The Adventures of Pluto Nash, and Back in the Day, further highlighted her versatility. The subsequent decade, the 2010s, witnessed Greer's continued presence in the film industry, where she contributed to an eclectic mix of genres. In the realm of romantic comedies, she graced the screen in Just Right and Larry Crown, showcasing her enduring appeal in matters of the heart. The dramatic narrative of Woman Thou Art Loosed on the seventh day provided another platform for Greer to exhibit her acting prowess. Additionally, her participation in ensemble comedies like Bad Grandmas and Palms demonstrated her ability to seamlessly integrate into diverse casts while maintaining her own distinctive presence. With so much success, we see her owning countless assets of great value. First to mention is the farm in Colorado. In the year 2000, Pam Greer made a significant move, returning to Colorado and acquiring a 4.6-acre ranch for $449,000. Across the subsequent decades, Greer dedicated herself to the meticulous renovation and restoration of the property, simultaneously venturing into horse rescue endeavors. The culmination of her efforts led to the decision to list the ranch for sale in April 2020, with an asking price of $1 million. After several months on the market, Greer successfully finalized the sale in October 2020, ultimately fetching $940,000 for the property. Mansion in Franktown, Colorado Nestled in the picturesque town of Franktown, Colorado, Pam Greer's residence stands as a testament to the allure of small-town living. Renowned for its charm and family-friendly environment, 
Franktown offers a serene and peaceful lifestyle. Greer's Abode, situated on a sprawling five wooded acres, is a two-story haven spanning 3,235 square feet. Boasting four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, the residence seamlessly combines modern amenities with rustic charm. Upon entering the grand foyer, visitors are greeted by hardwood floors that guide them through the main level. A sunken living room, adorned with a wood-burning fireplace, and a formal dining area with a vaulted ceiling provide spaces for relaxation and entertainment. The family room exudes coziness, featuring another wood-burning fireplace, exquisite wooden ceilings, and direct access to the terrace. Culinary enthusiasts will find delight in the kitchen, equipped with granite countertops, maple cabinets, a new GE-profile double oven, and a gas stove. The main floor master bedroom serves as a private retreat, complete with a wood-burning fireplace, walk-in closet, vanity, and a private bathroom featuring a soaking tub and a modern shower for ultimate relaxation. Practicality is maximized on the main level with a powder bath and a conveniently located laundry room. Ascending upstairs reveals three bedrooms, complemented by a spacious bathroom adorned with quartz countertops and double sinks. Two bedrooms boast walk-in closets, while the loft, featuring a vaulted ceiling and a built-in desk, adds versatility to the living space. Beyond the interiors, the stucco exterior harmonizes with the tranquil landscape. Two fireplaces, two AC units, and a generator connected to the breaker box ensure year-round comfort. Additional features include an unfinished walkout basement, a three-car garage, and a shed that collectively offer ample storage solutions. Outdoors, newer stucco exteriors, multi-level composite decks, and mature trees beckon residents to appreciate the natural beauty of Colorado. In a strategic real estate move, Pam Greer acquired this stunning residence for a sum surpassing $1 million. The house not only stands as a testament to her sophisticated taste but also exemplifies the quintessential Colorado living experience, where modern comfort seamlessly intertwines with the tranquil charm of the town of Franktown. Personal Life Pam Greer's personal life has been marked by intriguing connections with notable figures. One of the most significant chapters unfolded when she crossed paths with basketball player Ferdinand Louis Alcindor, later known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Their relationship took a transformative turn when Abdul-Jabbar embraced Islam, prompting him to propose to Greer with the condition that she convert immediately. However, Greer declined, and Abdul-Jabbar proceeded to marry another woman that very day. In 1973, during the promotion of her film, Coffee, Greer encountered comedian Freddie Prinze. Their relationship deepened, and marriage was considered. However, Prinze's struggles with depression and drug addiction gave Greer pause, ultimately leading to the continuation of their friendship. Greer was one of the last individuals Prinz spoke to before his tragic death in 1977. Another significant relationship in Greer's life was with comedian Richard Pryor, whom she met through her association with Prinz. After being cast together in the 1977 film, Greased Lightning, they began dating. Greer played a pivotal role in helping Pryor with his reading skills and addressing his struggles with drug addiction. Despite her efforts, Pryor's relapse into substance abuse impacted Greer, as detailed in her memoir. Their connection became even more complex when Pryor married another woman while still involved with Greer. Throughout her life, Greer was romantically linked to various prominent figures, including boxing promoter Jimmy, Big Wheel, Wheeler, Soul Train host Don Cornelius, and basketball player Wilt Chamberlain. In 1998, Greer was engaged to RCA Records executive Kevin Evans, but the engagement concluded in 1999. Amidst her personal challenges, Greer faced a formidable health battle when diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer in 1988, with a prognosis of only 18 months to live. Undeterred, she confronted the illness head-on, undergoing rigorous treatment that led to her recovery and subsequent remission. In the expansive realm of admiration for Pam Greer, there is a profound and often unsung facet that amplifies our affection for her. Her dedicated involvement in numerous humanitarian and charitable endeavors, particularly aimed at benefiting the African-American community in the United States. Greer's altruistic contributions, amounting to an estimated total of up to $2 million, underscore her commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of those in need. Over the past two decades, Greer has been actively engaged in various charitable initiatives, demonstrating her compassion and dedication to social causes. 
One notable example is her participation in Dining Out for Life, an annual event where restaurants generously donate proceeds to support AIDS organizations, reflecting her commitment to health-related causes. Greer's benevolence extends beyond singular events, as she has consistently supported organizations dedicated to the betterment of the African-American community. The National Black Child Development Institute, the National Urban League, the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, the United Negro College Fund, and the 100 Black Men of America are among the noteworthy organizations that have received Greer's backing. These contributions not only exemplify Greer's philanthropic spirit but also serve as a beacon of hope and support for initiatives fostering education, community development, and health within the African American community. Pam Greer's humanitarian efforts stand as a testament to her enduring legacy, showcasing the impact that a dedicated individual can have in uplifting and empowering communities in need. As we celebrate her contributions to the world of entertainment, let us also applaud her remarkable commitment to social betterment, making her an even more beloved figure in the hearts of many. As of the year 2024, Pam Greer is reported to have an estimated net worth of $4 million. A financial testament to her enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Throughout her illustrious career, Greer garnered recognition not only for her artistic talents but also through prestigious award nominations. Among the accolades bestowed upon her are nominations for an Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award, a Screen Actors Guild Award, a Satellite Award, and a Saturn Award. These nominations reflect the industry's acknowledgement of Greer's noteworthy contributions to film and television further solidifying her status as a respected figure in the world of entertainment. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.